Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Turmoil. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. We are playing through the the campaign of this uh, of this sweet little oil drilling game, and we're doing pretty well, actually. I feel pretty happy with the progress that we made in the last episode, and so we're going to be wanting to make a, a similar amount of progress this episode, right? So, if you'll recall, last episode we upgraded the width and the speed, and we decided against going. Uh, for the detection upgrades and that's honestly not a decision that I actually regret yet anyway I mean there's always a chance for me to regret it but not yet I don't think all right let's gather all the tenants at the auction uh, let's start by bidding all right let's start by bidding pick on the area the numbers of the mine parcels indicate the amount of oil they had hmm I think here would be a good bet here would be a very good bet because I mean if you look at the amount of oil parcels that the that this area had then you know it's clear to see that this area might continue the trend of doing doing well in the in in the oil sort of vein so I'm gonna take that I'm gonna take it man oh she outbid me she outbid me you know what I'm gonna outbid her fuck her there we go three grand three grand seems a little bit daft but that's okay we spent three grand on it that's fine we're down to six grand only six grand uh, we'll take another two grand out of that to pay for our startup costs and pause the game okay you can now upgrade rigs to drill faster yep I know this that's great let's hire I think we hired three last time and I didn't regret hiring three I don't think so you know three three is a good number Three is a good number. All right, now, where are we gonna place down our first rig? Come on, come on, come on. I know you want to tell me where the oil is. Come on, boys. All right, down there. Two, two oil rigs, okay. And uh, we can upgrade the drill speed for 500 bucks. It's something we might want to do in the future. To upgrade pipes capacity, just click on it. Yeah, I know how to upgrade a pipes capacity, Buster. All right, oil. Beautiful, we found it. You know what? We're actually going to upgrade this whole thing. Right? Booyah. That's how, that's how we roll here. That's how we roll. All right. Send the oil over there. And another something over here. Okay, I like the sound of that. Two oil pockets at the very start could be very promising for us. Okay, we're going to need to hire another wagon because we got so much damned oil. Alright, come on. Give us some money here. Alright, we've found more oil. That's good. That's really good. Uh, but we don't actually have enough capacity, which is kind of everybody's dream. I mean, not having enough capacity? That's amazing. Alright, there we go. Uh-oh. Uh oh, there we go. Wagon, 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 wagon. Sort it, please, sort it. We need many more wagons. There we go, there we go. All right. All right. We're under control, somewhat. But we're making hella monies. Hella monies, that's right. Hella monies, you heard me. All right, thank God the AI is smart and knows, and knows where to go. All right, so we've already made our money back, but effectively we need to make two grand plus two and a half grand plus two and a half grand back because of all the upgrades or because of all the money that we spent on the upgrades. So, uh, so just bear that in mind. We need to make quite a considerable amount of, uh, of money back. Let's, let's hire another one of these guys because we're going to need to uh, find some more oil. Hire two more actually, why not? Uh, the amount of wagons that we've got, I think that's a fairly good amount of wagons. Uh, we seem to be doing all right. We seem to be doing all right. We've got a lot of money, actually. I mean, upgrading all of these pipes and whatnot, probably a pretty good idea. Seems to be, seems to be paying out for us, without a doubt. You know? Seems to be paying out, and I don't think there's anything that, uh, that I can complain about right at this very moment. But hey-ho. All right. I really want to build a silo, but I don't think I can justify it. These guys are just taking the absolute mickey. Why are they taking such a long fucking time to find oil? Maybe there's none left. Maybe there is no oil left. 
perhaps you never can tell all right upgrading drill speed you know let's upgrade the drill speed yep fuck it so let's upgrade the drill speed as well upgrade the drill speed there and let's upgrade the pipe as well why not all right so it's going to be it's going to be risky it's going to be risky because we should be uh, sticking out a large amount of oil and what's going to be even riskier is we're going to have all of these guys going across to the far away side of the map and there's going to be nothing over here to uh, to collect the oil that's worrying all right there we go buy some more uh, some more carts just to just to make sure that we don't have an oil spillage because that would be expensive Okay, thank God we didn't have an oil spillage there. That was very close. Very, very close. Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can't spill. We cannot spill. Please. Just, we cannot spill. That's why two guys are going across here and eight are going across here. Uh, just so that, you know, some guys can get back quickly to this uh, to this area. But you know what? Even with even with only two wells, we're making good money. We're making very very good money, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you know, the the lease has still got April, May, June. It's still got two months left, effectively. And uh, you know, already we're in the big monies. The big money. That is a technical term, by the way. The big monies. Uh, so that is great. That is awesome. Really really happy with that. Really really happy with that. Uh, it doesn't look... That guy just walked off the edge of the world. Fair enough. I mean, you can do whatever you damn well please, my friend. But uh, hey-ho. Uh, but yeah, no. It looks like there's no more oil. It, or it looks like the oil that we've found is in quite... Is in two large pockets. I mean, obviously we'll see uh, once the timer finishes. Um, or if one of these oil rigs runs runs dry. But after after one of these runs dry... I don't think there's there's much else that we can do. I mean, n nobody else found oil. I mean, the, the, the dowsers didn't find oil. So, I guess these are the only two pockets that we've got. But you know what? We're exploiting them to the absolute fullest, considering we've upgraded our pipes, we've upgraded our pumping capacity. You know, overall, we're making a lot of money. In fact, everybody go over here. Everybody go over here. It's much cheaper. It's much closer. Much less chance of a spillage. Overall, 10 out of 10. Uh, would do again. All right, great. Wow. Wow, what fantastic money we've got coming in right here. I mean, the amount of money that we've got from this arena, or from this area, should I say, is is literally almost the total... Well, by the end of, by the end of the, this month, we should have over the total amount of money we had before even buying any upgrades. So, you know, we've got a considerable amount of money. And the price of oil is uh, is really helping us out here. The price of oil is really very, very good. Very, very good indeed. And, uh, yeah, wow. Even though all of these wagons aren't always full, they're still, you know, quite... Con they're, they're quite close to being full. I mean, if you look at it, there's, uh, there's quite a lot of wagons that aren't full, but there's a lot that, you know, are full or very close to being full. So, you know what? Honestly... I don't have any regrets about this. In fact, you know what? Maybe maybe a regret is not building another oil well in the middle. I mean, we could have built another one like here, but obviously I'm not going to do that now because it's <laughs> like seven days before we're uh, we're done. And um, but yeah, let's see where where the oil is. I mean, there might just be an oil spot here and here. And there might not be any else on the map. There was one over there, but yeah, mega 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 one there. And a mega, mega, mega one here as well. So, wow. Wowee. Look. Look at how we're doing. We're doing so well. I mean, look at that. Look at the amount of money that we have in comparison to everybody else. I mean, that's just... That's just so good. Ricardo, yeah, everybody else. They've got like half the amount of money that we do. That's great. That's really, really good. And um, because that means that we can buy more technology, which means we can continue to win, which is fantastic. Uh, let's go to the town hall and uh, and do it. Yeah. So this this was a this was a good spot as I uh, as I predicted. Um. I think we're gonna we're gonna try and bid for this spot here, because it looks good. 
I'm going to continue bidding because honestly, as long as he gets a shitty piece of land, then that's great. But uh, more to the point, we've got the big money to spend anyway. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a win-win for me. You know, we, we spent more money than anybody else on that uh, on that auction, and we've still got more money than anybody else. So, I think, to be honest, last time we did, we went to the factory and we upgraded stuff there. So, I think this time, we are gonna... We're gonna go for some speed... Speed 2. And... What about speed 3? Speed 3. Yeah, alright. Lock and load. Lock and load. And, uh, and, you know what, let's also go for some depth. You know what? In for a penny, in for a pound. That's how it is. That's what we're doing. Is there anything else that we actually want? Um, I would buy links, but I don't think links are actually going to be very useful until we get scans so we can see where different oil fields actually are. Um, width 3, speed 3. Nah, not really. Silo size? No, not at all. Nope. Not really, not really keen on anything. Uh, stables? What's in the stables? Ah, okay. Okay. Keep check of how many horses you have with this horse counter. I'll buy it. No idea what it does. Just, uh, just spent two and a half grand on it. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Alright. Alright, you're... Okay, we'll be able to look for deeper wells. And we'll be lightning fast. And they'll be faster. Great. So, come on, guys. Be lightning fast. Oh, this is our horse... That's our horse counter? We spent two and a half grand on that fucking number? Are you kidding me? All right. Right, straight away. So, by January the 10th, we're already getting a well down. That's great news. All right. Come on, we need to find some oil. We really need to find some oil here. Okay, we did find oil. That's great. We'll get a wagon down as well. We'll deliver him over there. I know you're over there. I want to I want to deal with you, but for now I cannot. Alright, let's uh in fact let's just upgrade the capacity here. Alright. And we don't have enough to upgrade yet, but we will eventually. We will eventually get around to doing that. And uh, and we want to drill this deeper as soon as we have uh, some money. Let's buy another wagon. Send both wagons over that way. So we can actually have some money. The price of oil, thankfully, is good at the moment. So I think, uh, you know, money is not going to be something that uh, we find particularly difficult to come by. However, we need to make sure that we don't get a spillage. So uh, let's get ample amounts of storage. Great. That's what we like to see. I know you're over there, buddy. I know you're over there. Alright. Let's 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 try going a little bit deeper, but I don't know where the where the oil is. I mean, I mean, there is oil there. There is oil there. I'll give him that. I will give him that. That's uh, a pretty lucky find. You found it. Congratulations, buddy. All right, let's upgrade you. Uh, you're upgraded now, and everybody go over here. No, no, no. We don't. We don't go over to the cheap one. The cheap one is not good. We want this one over here. Absolutely. And we're probably going to want some more uh, some more wagons very, very soon. Because uh, we don't want any spillages, as you can probably imagine. Alright, you're over there. Let's fuck it. Let's, let's throw caution to the wind and open up another well as soon as we can. Uh, you know, purely because we're greedy and we want to make the big monies. Beautiful. And we'll upgrade it as well. So we were lucky that we struck oil there, which is fantastic. It's exactly what we like to see. Um, I don't know how big this oil deposit here. I mean, this seems the biggest one. This seems the next biggest, and this seems relatively small, actually. So, I don't know what we're going to do about that, but uh, but hey-ho. Alright. I want to just get some more horses. Alright, there we go. Um, could get a silo. A silo is not something we really want to do at the moment. We're going to upgrade the pumping capacity of this. Because uh, we need to. There's a lot of oil in here and we want to exploit it completely. Alright. Alright. Yeah, we're going to need way more horses and carts and wagons and stuff. Good. Good, good, good. But we are going to make bank. We're going to make absolute bank from this area. That is my bet. 
We're not going to upgrade this area yet because I'm not entirely sure that we're going to get all of our value for money back. Let's uh, let's buy another guy because if we can find another oil deposit over here, then this oil well will become uh, will become more useful than it currently is because I don't think that this that this area is very big. I don't think this oil deposit is very big. However, it would be useful if we could find an oil deposit over here. That would be very good for us. But uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, you are wandering very, very far and wide, my friend. No, nope. you found anything yet? You're sniffing? No, nope. nothing yet, I guess. Uh oh, uh oh. Looks like this area is out of oil. All right, we're gonna we're gonna throw caution to the wind and try and build something across there. So it looks like this oil deposit over here was actually larger than this one. Than this one, should I say? It's kind of crazy. But yeah, as I, su as I suspected, uh, this is the biggest one. This is by far the biggest one. And uh, and we want to fully exploit this. So we're going to do just that. Just that indeed. So um, something that would be important to note is the fact that it cost like 350 bucks to, uh, to build this pipe across. This is still better value for us than building another rig and then building the pipe down and then upgrading it. Uh, that would have been a lot more expensive than what we just did there, which was, you know, pretty good value for money as far as I'm concerned. Um, okay, so the price of this is still better. I, I haven't really been keeping a, keeping tabs on the price, to be honest. You know what, let's upgrade you. Let's upgrade you all the way. Capacity, 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 capacity. That's great. I don't know how much oil there is in here, um, but there's clearly enough to warrant getting an upgrade. I mean... As far as I'm concerned, this one ran out before this one did, so I'm willing to give this one a chance. You know, give give the give the well a chance. All right, we're still making the right decision, I think, financially about where we should sell our oil. Uh, we haven't bought any silos yet. We haven't started playing the long-term game quite yet. However, it's getting to that stage where I think we we ought to be thinking about doing that. If that makes sense, I think it makes sense. But yeah, uh, we're gonna need to think about playing the long game. All right. Don't, don't, don't spill. Please don't spill. Please do not spill. Great, you're not spilling. Fantastic. Um, we're going to keep our, our eyes peeled. Okay, everybody go this way. Yeah, this is going to, this is going to cause absolute pandemonium. Alright, we're going to have to buy wagons to stop spillages. Yep, sorry guys. Sorry. I mean, I'm apologizing to my accountant more than anything, who must be furious at me for spending all this money, but hey-ho, nothing much we can really do. Oh, God! We had a spillage, we had a spillage. Shit. Well, it can't be helped. It can well, it could have been helped, actually. But, uh, you know, hey-ho, you do what you gotta do. You do what you gotta do. Alright. There we go. Does that work better? Is everybody happy now? See, maybe I was wrong. Maybe this was the biggest oil deposit all along. Maybe. All right, come on, fix fix the spillage. Don't don't spill. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. All right, all right. Things are going are going well, but stressfully. So that's kind of nice, I guess. Okay, good, 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 good. I like how the how the different the different wagons are labeled different colors are labeled different colors are colored different colors to show which way they're gonna go. I think that's kind of nice. You know, I think I might have been wrong. I think this deposit here may be the biggest deposit on the map. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah! I was completely wrong. Well, you know what? It's good. We hit we hit the three deposits. We mined one out. Spillage fine. Yeah, sorry about that. Shit. Shit, that's a lot of money, so it really pays to not spill, so to speak. Hiya, welcome to my bar. Make yourself comfortable and mingle with the crowd. They may have interesting offers for you. You know what? Let's go into the bar. Are there are there any appointments we could make? What is this? At Right Inc., the price can be even more right. For a small personal donation, our price will stay above 0 0.77 for the coming year. Does a lower interest sound interesting? And I'll reduce your next year's interest rates by 50%. Well, let me tell you something, buddy. Right? I ain't borrowed no cash. I ain't borrowed no cash at all. Look. Look at this. Nothing. Not one little bit. And we're still winning. We're still in the lead with the most money. So, you can take your little offer 
and fuck off back home with it, alright? Fuck off back to the bank, you little scoundrel. Jeez. However, you do offer an interesting proposition. Something that I might consider. But, uh, but we'll have to consider it in the next episode. Because for now, ladies and gentlemen, my name, of course, has been Obel Potato. Thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you next time.